Welcome back to W3D Studio. It's been a while since my last video and I'm so sorry for that. Maybe about six months. And now let's start with something fun. This is a, an articulated lizard. It has joints all around or all through the design. I print this one a lot and my kids love them. It's fun to watch and also the design is interesting with the articulated print in place joints so yeah if you want to learn something about articulated joints or print in place joints then this is a good start but we are not going to design this in this video we are going to just download and then print using slicer and so on so yeah let me open the slicer Okay, I have downloaded the file and I will also put the link in the description. This is the file. The designer name is MacGyver, so it's maybe something like MacGyver. Okay, a very cool design. So many downloads. Okay, and yeah, let's start by opening the Ultimaker Cura. And I have downloaded the file. It has two files in it, the zip file. First one is the articulated lizard 5.2. This one is the curling uh, design. Okay. And then the second one is the uh, Lagarto version 5.2. And the difference is that this one position in this straight position. So I'm just going to use the uh, curling position of the lizard to print this one. Okay. And yeah, let me open the Cura, the slicer, and then drag and drop. It's still within the small print bed of my printer. I'm using Anycubic i3 Mega, the old one. Okay, and now let's start using the basic preset so I'm using the normal preset and for this print let's start by checking out the things that we need to do first is make sure we are not using support because if we use support then this join will be uh, fixed let me show you okay if I use support and start the slicing if we take a look at the preview it will stuck because of the support let's see Okay, here you can see that this blue thing here, here and here and also here and so on, those are the supports. And if we are going to print this model with support, it will stuck between the joints. So yeah, we need to remove the support. Okay. And that is point number one, remove the support. And then the second one, because it has this small feature here, the fingers. So we want to make sure that it has the best addition to the heat pad. So I will need to first make sure that the speed for the first layer is slower. So initial layer speed, this one 25. So let me just reduce even more, let's say 15. So the uh, layer speed on the initial layer speed is only 15 and initial layer acceleration that also need to be slower slower down maybe yeah nine i'll take half of the previous number it's just a guessing actually i've printed a lot of this and i didn't remember my setting but now yeah let me just try this setting and then the next one is for the addition build plate addition we are going to just use the skirt so not the brim not the raft but skirt just to make sure that uh, it has enough time to clean up the nozzle and so on mm -hmm. and here's the preview let us take a look looks fine but maybe with these small features on the first layer 
I will need to make sure that has a bit of overflow on it so it will stick better to the heat pad especially things like this this small feature right here so let me just search for flow okay initial layer flow so let me just put 120 let's say 125 percent okay so we have lower down the speed for the first layer and also increase the uh, layer flow for the initial layer let me slice and then save to the the sd card and print and i will show you how it works looks good but maybe the light is not enough so i'm sorry about that okay so all the legs with the small fingers features are printed well now let's take it off the heat pad Okay, and here is the print result after about two hours of printing looks great but maybe a bit uh, not the best because the PLA filament that I'm using is a bit wet and anyway I noticed something when printing the first layer let me show you uh, take a look at this so it's printing this small portion the green one okay and also this one and then the next one is also a small uh, part also for the other hands or legs of the lizard here we can see that it prints this very small part and it's risky because if the filament is not uh, attach or or not sticking well to the heat pad it might come off and the print will uh, not succeed but anyway with the slower speed for the first layer and also the uh, increasing or adding the flow the print itself is done well and yeah I think overall is a good result and anyway, if you have any uh, suggestion or idea about how to improve the print result of this model, you can put in the comment below. And that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoy this as much as I do printing this one. And yeah, hopefully I can make another video soon. Thank you for watching and see you again in the next video. Have a great day.